Good morning on Friday the 14th of June 2024. Only a couple of days left now. Ah, anyway, another 100 plus degrees today and another trip down here. Going back to Tuscany Suites. I can't believe in 35 years I've never been near this place. Oh, that's noisy. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Um, yeah, 35 years and I've never been down here, but if you missed the last vlog, they're running a deal. Sign up to the Players Club, $50 free play. Don't have to put any money of your own in. And then you can come back twice within the next 30 days and each of those two visits, you get an additional $50 free play. Thank you so much to Kim Deakin and to Pennies for Vegas for sharing this tip because uh, so far we've netted almost $400 out of this free play between the two of us and we've still got today's free play to come. So, off to Tuscany Suites it is. Oh, I'm on my own at the moment. He's, uh, he's having a lie in. Well, I think he's up. He might be up. I'm sure I saw him, maybe. Anyway, let's get to Tuscany and see what we can do today. I will check in with you later. I'm here. Um, oh yeah, if you saw at the end of that last one, it went a bit wobbly at the end. Don't walk and film, because uh, I walked into a bollard. <laughs> but I'm fine. I just wanted to show you, this is Tuscany Suites. Look how pretty this place is. It's so nice. It's really chilled and relaxing. I don't know how much it is to stay here, but I like it. I mean, that's not brilliant across the road as a view, but then if you look behind it, you see the sphere, so you might even get a sphere view. Anyway, shut up rambling, don't walk and film or you'll fall over. Get inside and get your free play calf. And here we are inside. How lovely is this? The aircon's really good in here too, which is something we've been struggling with in a lot of places. The aircon has not been uh, kind. Look, look how lovely it is. Really, really nice property. Really nice property. Do you think it's really expensive to stay here? I bet it is. I bet it is. The class of people um, that I'm seeing suggest that, although I don't know at the moment, maybe not. No, that was mean. <laughs> I didn't mean that. Um, yes, anyway, so you walk through this bit here and come around the corner and you're in the casino. Look at that. They've got a load of really good old school games in here as well. Really good old school games. Maybe I should play some of those with my free play. Nah, I want to, but I also want to go for Dragon Link. So, ah, look, it's the Enchanted Unicorn. Oh, that's tempting. Right, free play. Okay, update. So, uh, I got my free play, and I got $43.10 out of it. So, I've had, oh, I think I had 51 times, 20 another time, 43 another time. So, I'm over the 100. Ash is on his way, so we'll see what he gets. He's already had a couple of hundred. Um, shit in here. I brought my, um, I, brought, <laughs> I had a croissant, so I brought it with me in a brown paper bag, and then I remembered that my dear friends, uh, Andy and Simone, <laughs> Good Times Productions, for my birthday, got me some miniatures. So I've been drinking my vodka, waiting for a cocktail. So I'm like an alcoholic with my brown paper bag of vodka. Oh, and they got me salt water taffy as well. So I've been having those for breakfast, along with my croissant and my vodka. And now I've got a white Russian coming and Ash is on the way. So life is good in Vegas. Okay, final summary from Tuscany Suites. Oh shoot, the Shark Week game's going off. If that hits a bonus, that is so loud. It's over there, it's really noisy. Anyway, so the final total is Ash turned up, got his 50 um, and got $97 on top of my 43 and we totted it up and we got about 500. So thank you, Kim Deakin. Thank you, Pennies for Vegas for the tip off. Amazing, uh, and we've discovered a really nice property as well. And the cocktails have just arrived, so uh, life is good at Tuscany Suites. Ashley Grant, anything to add? Um, briefly, the, uh, briefly. Uh, yeah, yeah, briefly. Nice kids. Get there you go. Nice Get kids. Get on right. with it, right? I'm cutting right, no, this no, off. No. I want to say just simply the promotion runs out end of the month. So any, so that's what we've been told. We don't know for certain, but. If you're coming 
uh, in the next couple of weeks, get down to Tuscany and get your $150 free play over three days. Stop, she went, stop talking, there's cocktails. Oh, there's there. white Russians. Get lost! We love Tuscany. Hello everyone, it's still, uh, is it Friday the 14th of June? Yeah, Friday the 14th of June. So Ash has never been to All Red. So I just brought him up here to admire the view and it's a pretty bloody good view, isn't it? To be fair, not a fan of country music and there's a band playing downstairs, but it's not really my cup of tea. But uh, as they say, it's a real nice view. A real nice view. And they've got misters going over here. So I'll walk over there and see what the view is that way. I've never gone that way. I've only ever been up here once. Let's have a look. They're looking off to the back. Hey, it's, oh, there's another stage up here. This is the, oh, it's the ghost stage. It's a ghost stage. So I guess they must have live bands up here as well as downstairs. And then you come to the back. I don't know if you've heard a bloody word I'm saying because the music's loud. And then you're out the back towards Horseshoe and the High Roller and Le Tour Eiffel and back towards Cosmo and Aria. That's very nice. Oh, and there is a lift for anyone who has mobility issues. There is a lift to take it to floor four. Anyway, just going to sit and admire the view and enjoy the misters. Oh my God, the music's getting loud again. You probably can't hear me. I'm going. Bye bye. Okay, so if you're gonna come up here, if you wanna pause the video now, that's the menu for the drinks up on the roof. It is lush up here, but mm, not that cheap. But then you have got the view. Okay, one last thing from Old Red. Um, this bit down here is gorgeous. There's, look, there's more Tisha Adams peacock chairs over there, but there's these comfy chairs around the corner with this gorgeous view. I just asked them at the bar because I said about the drinks prices with souvenir glasses. Um, if you just wanted to get a soda, it's, she said, about six or seven dollars. So you can just sit up here for six or seven dollars and enjoy a, a diet beverage or a full fat beverage indeed and enjoy the view, uh, but there's no smoking and no vaping. Watch this. What? Watch. This is good. There you go. That's very good. Right, okay. We're going to go down there and go over there now. I'm back. I am now in a, one of those nice big comfy chairs at Aria. Um, Ash got over to Horseshoe as you saw and we got our uh, free play and we got more money and yeah, 500 bucks, amazing deal. For, for the millionth time, thank you to Kim Deakin and Penny for Vegas, what, what a tip off. Um, I had three white rations at Tuscany and now I have another two because Ash was leaving so he got one and left it for me. So it's 2 p.m. I'm on my fifth white Russian and I that that is a cocktail in Aria which never happens for me and we both sat down on Lightning Link and both won uh, between 20 and 30 bucks on a 50 cent bet which also never happens to me in Aria so the luck is turning because to be fair I don't know if I've mentioned it our luck on the slots since last Saturday which is like six days at MGM Properties has been absolutely pardon my French piss poor we are losing our backsides so this uh, this free play over at Tuscany and a little break has done us the power of good excuse me I have to cough <coughs> That's what smoking fags does. I never smoke fags, only in Vegas. Anyway, so uh, yeah, that one's finished. That one's on the way. He's gone off to catch the bus. I'm probably, where do you think I'm going now? I'm at Aria. Oh, park. I shall go to park. Right, that's next. I'll see you soon. <laughs> I might be getting a little bit tiddly. Maybe. Oh no, we're at that horrible moment where your vape becomes redundant for as soon as you step onto that carpet you can no longer vape evil evil people but you can't catch me in the toilets look i have to vape 
You can't catch me in here, Park. <laughs> Can I just point out, I got my bottom flushed. Got my bottom flushed at Park MGM. That's their revenge for vaping in their toilets. <laughs> you still can't bust me, because you can't see me. <laughs> Okay, before I get my Park MGM gamble on, um, something I want to add, and I don't think I've mentioned it yet, that MGM, since I was here in February, have changed out a lot, a lot of machines across all the properties. This bit up here in Park used to have loads of really old school three reel dollar machines. Now there's only these. Darn it! Wants to play one of these. All right, I'll find something else. Anyway, yeah, MGM have made massive changes on the slot floor. Be aware. Um, I will find something. <gasps> it's my mummy. Cash collect. Cash collect. Okay, we're almost at park. So as I walk down this boring corridor that used to be the street of dreams it used to be fun there used to be a harley davidson shop with all merch in there just so dull anyway as i walk down here there's something i meant to share with you all because ash does have a habit of liking to make uh liking to make me look like a twat does that make sense yeah I, I know what i'm talking about anyway he likes me to look like a pillock he finds it amusing well he did a spectacular job yesterday we were in cosmo stealing cookies and i looked and i went that bloke over there looks like mr mike slots i love mr mike slots so we stopped look again look again i went ah it's not him it's not him it's definitely him you should go and talk to him i mean i should have realized shouldn't i i should have realized so I go up to the bloke and I'm like, hi, are you Mr. Mike Slots? He's like, no, I get that a lot. I'm not. To be fair, he's in the high limit bit at Cosmo. He had $47,000 in the machine and he was filming with an entourage. So, you know, you know, just saying. Anyway, as usual, I look like a twat. Now I'm in park and I can't vape, so I need to open my bag and find some sweeties to eat and uh, have a gamble. Okay, I'll be back later. Hopefully not looking like a twat. Ha <laughs> ha, 2.30 on a swelteringly hot Friday the afternoon. Look, my babies are hungry. I've got some crackers. Hello, sweetheart. Hello, babies. Right, I have to go because I've got two more packets of crackers. Oh, listen, they're calling. All right, I'll be back uh, once I've fed. Oh, look, they're right here. Oh, look at them. Hello, babies. Right, I'm going to get some more crackers. I have to go. Oh, look at my little kids. They're hungry. Whenever you're in Vegas, stop by Park MGM and feed the pigeons. They really appreciate it. You're welcome. Oh, listen. Bless them. Okay, eventually making my way back to Luxor. Um, something I want to point out, something I have not known for 35 years. So I've been coming here for 35 years. I'm constantly bumping into people and getting annoyed. Ash pointed something out to me the other day that Americans drive on the other side of the road. Therefore, they walk on the other side. And as soon as I started walking on the right hand side, I stopped bumping into people. But apparently this has taken me 35 years for someone else to tell me to work it out. Anyway, I'm no longer having arguments and bumping into people, and this is a good thing. Anyway, uh, I'm stopped in at New York, New York, put a dollar in the Hobbit machine, and got a bonus for $50. So, uh, it's on the turn. But out here, as you can see, it is hot as hell. Um, and I just want to get inside now and have some lunch, have a nap, and start again later. What a fabulous day Friday the 14th of June is. I'm off. Okay, birthday freebie update. So uh, I signed up to Orange Julius. Can't get signed into Dairy Queen because I'm UK. I don't know why. But I signed up to Orange Julius. I got an email. I scratched to reveal and 
I got a smoothie of my choice, mango and pineapple, and I just had to pay that fee, but the uh, actual drink is $12 plus tax. So birthday deal secured, and obviously, as you can see, I'm at Excalibur. I'm gonna enjoy this, I need this, it's 110 degrees. <laughs> Good morning everybody. Look at the lovely Luxor this morning. <sighs> oh, I haven't done many of these uh, dawn walks this trip. I've done a few, but uh, yeah, it's, it's different when you're here with somebody else your schedule's a bit out of whack from what you do when you're here on your own. Anyway, heading out for a dawn walk Saturday the 15th of June. Why am I saying it like that? Well, Saturday the 15th of June is the last full day of the trip. <laughs> Look at home tomorrow. Fortunately, we have a 6 p.m. checkout tomorrow. Um, so it's virtually a whole day tomorrow. So let's not get sad just yet. Uh, what's the update? The, the gambling has been absolutely, what's the word I'm looking for? Pants, abysmal, crap, really, really bad, the gambling. The first couple of days was great, it's like you couldn't lose. And I think for the last six days now, no one can hit a bonus of anything decent. So uh, we've still got today, we've still got tomorrow, and uh, that can change, which, you know, the trip has been amazing. Uh, it's been so much fun. But it would be nice to top it off with a little bit of winning, wouldn't it? So we'll see how we get on today. And uh, so we're on our way to go and feed the pigeons at this point in time. And uh, I will catch up with you later. Thinking of heading to Cos yeah, Cosmo. Cosmo. And then from there, who can say? All right, see you all later. Oh yeah, I just remembered there was something I was going to tell you all about while we admire this beautiful morning view. Oh, I'll tell you what else is good about coming out this time of the morning. There's a little bit of a breeze and uh, it's only, I think, 29 degrees as opposed to 43 degrees, which is rather nice. It has been killer this heat. Never known anything like it in June. Anyway better than back in the UK where apparently everyone's freezing and there's been hailstones so can't say I'm massively looking forward to that. W waffle, 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 what were you going to tell people? Yes, jaywalking. There's always been a thing I've been interested in uh, in America, trying to actually understand what it is. I think I've got it now. It's just basically crossing the road where you shouldn't cross the road and you could get arrested for it. Um, um, and where did the term jaywalking come from? Well, the one that I found was uh, an old-fashioned English word, J, was a stupid person. So, the way a stupid person walks. Don't know whether that's true or not, but that's what I heard. Anyway, up we go, through the trees, through the trees, and over to feed the pigeons. Anyway, J walking, the way a stupid person walks. If anyone knows any different, do tell me. Look at this pavementy, sidewalky thing here. So this is this new place. What do they? What are they call this? The Boulevard Mall, I think. Um, over here, over here, opposite CVS, next to Walgreens. Look at this pavement they're doing. That's fancy. I like that. Anyway, enough of pavement. More winning, less pavement. Oh, look. It looks like the entrance to it all coming along nicely. I'm not sure when it's going to open, this boulevard place. But I don't usually walk on this side of the road. I'm very naughty. I needed cigarettes and I actually ran across the middle of the road, which is probably jaywalking. But look at this. More fancy pavement. I need to get a life. I'm excited by interesting pavements. What's wrong with me? Anyway, I think it's pretty cool. Oh, what can we see in there? What can we see in there? Not a whole lot of anything. The pavement is uh, the most interesting part at this time. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty in the early dawn light? <sighs> Where should we go? Where should we go? 
you know what? I haven't really been in Aria much. Went there once yesterday and won, so maybe I should be going there. Oh, mind you, you see Cosmo, when they switch over to MGM next month, any points I get there will be mine for MGM. Oh, let's do a bit of both. One's already MGM, one's going to be MGM. Let's hit the slots. Here I am at Cosmo. I love this. I love cats anyway, but this game's brilliant. You get to play four at once, and you can play for as little as 60 cents. So you're playing four games at 15 cents each. I like that. Uh, this time in the morning, it's not easy to play a lot of games because they've got the boxes out, so they're going to be emptying out all the machines, and they've sort of blocked off, if you can see over there. No, I can't see it. Oh, yeah, they are. So it's right next to the slot, they put the boxes so you can't play. Anyway, um, I went back to the high limit room to check what was going on with the snacks. And no, the, the pretzel machine did not reappear. However, I got a whole bunch of cookies. <laughs> That's breakfast taken care of then. Right, back to cats. Ah, the sun has risen on the last full day. I need to stop saying that. I need to get that out of my head. Let's get that out of my head. Um, yes, had a nice old gamble in Cosmo. And I know it's controversial, but I am looking forward next month to them becoming MGM. I really am. Because I think they've got the best selections of games in there. Um, they've got so many old school games that I want to spend my money in there. This is at the moment my precious Luxor is not giving me any money. Um, anyway, I'm going to head down here and, uh, oh, I know we're playing Planet Earth, Duran Duran in Cosmo, which was lovely. Um, yes, I'm going to head down here and go into Mirage one last time. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to sad to see that go. But I am looking forward to the giant guitar. Anyway. This is so much nicer than Tuesday night when I wanted to scream coming down here with the bodies of people banging into you. Well, actually, no, nobody was banging into me. It was just there. But now it's, ah, ah, I see a pigeon. I must go and feed him. I will speak to you later. enjoying my early morning peaceful strip walk what's not to love hey casino royale uh, and now into the mirage for one final time <laughs> wow it's hard to believe that the next time i come back here this won't exist anymore so remember the first time i came here and they were building this and so the next time I came I seen that volcano for the first time I remember it nearly blew my dad's mind it's like there's a volcano in the middle of the street <laughs> oh gonna miss you Mirage looking forward to the giant guitar but gonna miss you right let's go in I'm probably not gonna gamble too much in here because I kind of figure that they're probably not really paying out are they seeing as we've only got what four weeks till it closes anyway Bye bye Mirage, you've been a good friend over the years. Ah, my last early morning walk. Well, I might go again tomorrow, who can say. Back at my precious Luxor. Oh, one thing I keep meaning to mention, the roads here at the moment, they seem to be resurfacing at this end of the strip. Um, I think I did one vlog where they were doing Tropicana. Basically, all of this street going down as far as, ooh, towards Park, it's all been kind of ripped off. So they're clearly gonna re-tarmac it. But it's very bumpy when you get on the bus. I don't know if they're just resurfacing the road or if it's something to do with F1. Anyway, it's a bumpy ride on the bus. But it was nice, I don't usually catch a bus. It's a good way to get back and get out of the sun because now the sun is fully risen and we shall all burn. So I'm going inside now, I'll see you later. Ah, 
before I end this particular edition, I thought I'd share something. So if you're staying at Luxor and you're in the tower, if you're in the West Tower, this is where you're at, this is your view. So you've got the Allegiant over there, mountains and sunset over there, palms over there, and T-Mobile over there. So this is the West Tower at Luxor. Sunsets right there. Right there, over that mountain. It's very, very pretty. Ow! I just banged my hand. <laughs> if you're in the East Tower, you're going to be around the other side, facing the airport and uh, looking at the Sphinx's ass. Right, that's the end of this particular informative vlog. And uh, I'll be back with one more very soon. <laughs>